Is Pontiac making a comeback and joining NASCAR? Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. In the most recent issue of Car and Driver, the back page ad was a full page ad that said, make some noise, Pontiac is back. And it sent the internet into an absolute tizzy, at least the car community portion of the internet. And they were under the assumption that Pontiac was in fact back, that the famed automaker would be once again revived coming out of the ashes like a phoenix which is fitting considering they have a flaming chicken as the most predominant logo that everyone associates with pontiac and when you read over the copy a lot of people got excited about it and they were like oh my gosh pontiac is back maybe that's what's going to join nascar and replace the camaro it's not unfortunately none of this is real it's an evil world we live in Pontiac's been out of NASCAR since 2003, when someone in Detroit finally sat down and was like, we're spending a lot of money to compete against ourselves with our two brands here. Why don't we stop doing that? And they converted all the Pontiac teams into Chevrolet teams. And then, of course, Pontiac didn't survive the global financial crisis. And when General Motors took government bailout money, it had to go. It was one of the manufacturers that was axed, along with Saab, Hummer, and Saturn. Even though Roger Penske tried to save Saturn, it was all for not because... Roger Penske doesn't do fun. But when you read the copy, it had a lot of people convinced that Pontiac was in fact coming back, except this copy doesn't match anything that General Motors puts out because it was fun and General Motors isn't fun anymore. Let's take a look at the copy real quick. It says, Pontiac fans, it's been a weird 15 years since we left, hasn't it? Now we can't, de it, we can't definitively say that Pontiac's absence influenced the events we all have been through, but come on. Caffeine comes out of Four Loco and now it's in Lemonade. Everything on the road looks like an Aztec now. You need us. America needs us. The future needs us. So Pontiac is back. Our first model is a hybrid. Surprised? Well, it uses a battery and electric motor to start a 667 horsepower supercharged 327 cubic inch V8. And we think you're going to want one. Because what else are you going to do? You can't buy a new Dodge Challenger and leave the splitter guards on anymore. Don't worry. We've got you. Our new car's entire front end is a splitter guard. At Pontiac, we're here to offer a future filled with V8s, great sounds, gold pinstripes, and window louvers. And if someone shouts last call, we'll just smuggle in cores from Colorado and keep the party going. And then says, make some noise, has a flaming screaming chicken on the ad and says Pontiac is back. And at the very bottom is the most important part. It says, disclaimer, do you need to be told that this advertisement is fake and not to be taken seriously? Our lawyers think you do which is exactly what it is. It's fake. It is not real. Pontiac is not coming back. Pontiac is not joining NASCAR. The Firebird is not here. They are all dead. They cease to exist, which is highly unfortunate. Dead. It ceased to live. It's deceased now. I would love to see Pontiac come back. I'm on. I'm in the bandwagon with everybody that's like, oh, this would have been so great, except it's just not going to happen. When you read the copy, like I said, it doesn't match anything that General Motors has put out. And I don't think General Motors all of a sudden found some fun in their veins because that would be absurd. But when you read over the copy, uh, of course, the caffeine comes out of Four Loco. Now it's in lemonade. That's in reference to that supercharged Panera lemonade that's been giving people heart attacks. Side note, for all the kids that didn't get to experience the real Four Loco... I was in college when that happened. It was heart attack in a can. It was enough alcohol to make you black out, but it was also enough energy in there from the caffeine to make you run three marathons in a row. It was a wild time. What you have now is nowhere near what Four Loco used to be. And then it goes on to say that our first model is a hybrid, and then it describes what a hybrid is, a battery and electric motor to start. Okay, yep. That's what it is. That 667 horsepower supercharged 372 cubic inch V8. That is the same engine that is in the CT5 Blackwing. And then they take a jab at the Dodge Challenger because, yes, you cannot buy one anymore. And then another jab at Dodge as well, saying if someone shouts last call, that's in reference to the last call editions for both the Charger and Challenger from Dodge. And then, of course, they work in a Smoking the Bandit reference with that Smuggling Coors line as well. Yeah, unfortunately, Pontiac is not coming back. Pontiac is probably never coming back. It doesn't fit the GM lineup either. And that's what kind of bums me out about so many people getting fooled by this, getting duped. First off, wasn't in April, so that probably makes people think that this was going to be real. The disclaimer at the bottom tells you everything you need to know. General Motors said they didn't have anything to do with it. Car and driver's like, ah, you know, uh, we, don't, we don't know. Okay, oh, gotcha. But when you look at the GM lineup, 
it doesn't really fit. The GM lineup isn't fun, right? You have GMC, which is for people that buy their clothes at Costco, enjoy mayonnaise on white bread, live in middle America, and concede all their kids missionary style. You have the Chevy lineup, which is just a dozen midsize or crossover SUVs, the Corvette, and then, of course, the Suburban for moms with two kids that live in a McMansion in the suburbs somewhere. And, of course, the Silverado lineup, which is great for people that want to buy a truck but never actually put anything in the bed of it. You also have the Buick lineup. That's just for geriatrics. And then the Cadillac lineup, which is for geriatrics and people that want to have fun at the same time. The crossover is very bizarre there, but at least they have high-performance sedans, a great EV offering, and then a decent lineup uh, stemming from like your regular CT4 to like the XT4 to the XT6 up to the Escalade. It's, an, it's a decent lineup, but Pontiac doesn't really fit. I saw a lot of people being like, well, this could be... General Motors answer to what Dodge is going to become, that performance EV line within the Stellantis portfolio. General Motors continues to knock off sedans here like they're Joe Gibbs Racing. Anytime a Toyota team gets as close to being as good as they are, I could have just gone with MBS and a journalist, but I decided not to because I don't want to incite an international affair. At the same time, it doesn't make sense to put this back into the lineup. Yeah, I'm upset that it didn't survive the global financial crisis as well. Unfortunately, it was axed uh, when it probably shouldn't have been. But its time has come and gone, which is unfortunate. It's not joining NASCAR as much as we would like to see it join NASCAR. They're wind tunnel testing a different car. Um, there's a lot that goes into reintroducing a manufacturer as well, right? Just from a production standpoint, like you have to retool an entire production facility. You have to do a ton of marketing around it. You have to in incur a ton of dealership cost, right? Because now you have to have signage for all the new Pontiac stuff that's going to be out there. It's a big undertaking for maybe one car model. So yeah, I'm upset like everybody else that it wasn't real. But at the end of the day, the first time I read through it, I was like, this is not real. This was never going to happen. It's unfortunate. It'd be cool to see it come back. But alas, Pontiac is still not being revived. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.